Welcome back to John's Films, your home for DaVinci Resolve hardware recommendations, benchmarks, and videos you just can't find anywhere else. Today we're talking about the new AMD graphics cards. We've been waiting on this for what feels like years. And today we find out what does the benchmarks look like in DaVinci Resolve for video editors on the new platform. Let's jump into the benchmarks and find out. Again, I have to have a huge shout out to A2K Technologies in Singapore for sharing. There's a link below. Do me a favor, just click on his link and give him a look. I'd love for you to be able to become a new subscriber. He does a bunch of hardware type reviews that actually feed into Resolve very well. Now today we're going to look at the Puget Systems benchmark. He has run these tests for us five times using an AMD 5950 processor with 3600 megahertz RAM. He's got 32 gigabytes of this stuff, and it's a perfect test bed for this setup. We go everywhere from a 2080 Super to about 40% better scores in a RTX 3090. To ruin the spoiler alert here, that is still your king of the hill, folks. However, when you get into certain codecs, let's jump into, say, ProRes here. 222 ProRes. No benefit to the extra money that goes into the 3090. Instead, you'll notice that even some of the GPU effects don't pay off that much. You've got temporal noise reduction, which, given that the CUDA core optimizations have been put into Resolve for quite some time, I believe in this case and in several others, you're going to see where, over time, this gap closes. I think that AMD is going to optimize the drivers. I think there might be an option for DaVinci Resolve and Blackmagic Design to put some AMD-specific optimizations into their DaVinci Resolve code, much like they've done with the CUDA cores and the studio drivers. And I think we'll see continued improvement to these numbers. As a starting point, this is, frankly, quite exciting. You're running back, I think we had a thermal throttle situation on the 3090 as it got toward the end of its test, would be my guess, considering that the 2080 and the 3070 both beat it. But when you're looking at much of this other stuff, you can see the H.264 hardware rendering that's happening in the H.264 with the studio version looks pretty strong. Um, it is about 25% faster in the NVENC encoder uh, that's available in your 3000 series graphics cards. You see that? But when you're looking at some of these other effects, it's negligible. Um, the noise reduction is one place I do expect it to close that gap like we were talking about. Overall, I'm really pleased with the cards. This is the first time AMD has been able to really, really fight with a stable platform. Um, yeah, that's you, Radeon 7. And with what is going to be 16 gigabytes of RAM. So in real life performance here, when using timeline and editing, we may see a big difference between these cards. It'll be fun to get my hands on some of these and do some actual footage of use and testing it. Wow, well now we know exactly what we've got coming at us. Gamers rejoice, video editors is still yet to be seen. Let's figure out if these drivers get better and better and if optimizations inside DaVinci Resolve take more advantage of the new features in the new AMD graphics cards. Thanks for watching. If this has been really helpful, feel free to buy me a coffee below. Otherwise, Click subscribe. I've got more content coming for DaVinci Resolve and Benchmarks. So thank you for watching and have a great day.